Imagine if you could get one of your favourite personalities all to yourself as a captive interviewee on the London Eye. Welcome to Eye to Eye with Francine Lacroix. Welcome to Eye to Eye, the interview show for high flyers. My guest today is the ultimate risk taker. He left school at 16 and became one of Europe's most influential entrepreneurs. Meet Philip Green. Ambitious, controversial and quintessentially rich. Philip Green is the billionaire who dominates the British high street. He started with very little and managed to craft a retail clothing empire which defies recession. For the next half hour, Sir Philip is our captive in the capsule on the London Eye. He's talking with Francine Lacroix about how he made it, his ambitions, and his friendship with celebrities like Simon Cowell and Kate Moss. Sir Philip, thank you so much for joining us on the London Eye. Now, you started your, your, your first business deal with a £20,000 loan, mm -hmm. and that developed into something much more. I started sort of buying selling anything, and then... I went to the Far East, the, the people I worked for had, were originally the first people to, to import shoes from China, Asia. So I went back to the Far East, I went to see two or three of the people I'd been speaking to for five years. And I stayed there a little while and I obviously see these bundles of denim falling out the windows and I thought, well, I'll buy jeans. He never wanted to be part of the fashion world, but today his name means luxury footwear. Christian Louboutin is the designer who brought back stilettos and made them fetish objects of desire. He never took a single lesson in fashion and had grown up before he saw a Vogue magazine. But today, thousands look to learn from him and the shoes he makes fly off the shelves, no matter what the cost. For the next 30 minutes, Christian Louboutin is our captive in a capsule on the London Eye, speaking with Francine Lacroix about his business, his passions and his life dressed all of the most beautiful and most famous women in the world. Is there anyone that you would like to wear your designs that hasn't yet? I mean, I wish I had done things for my mother. She died before I had my company, so I would say I would have been really happy for her to have my shoes on. Otherwise, if I have to think of someone else, the only person which comes in my head would be the Queen of England. Oh, great. <laughs> well, not too As well, far, not too man. far. <laughs> Being Italian is part of our DNA, and it's one of the reasons that, that people um, like the brand and, and, and go in the store and look for our clothes. Family as the ultimate brand value. The Missonis have stayed at the pinnacle of fashion for decades. But things are changing. Larger conglomerates circle waiting to snap up all their smaller rivals. So can an independent family business still make it in this new era? Missoni believes it can. Michael O'Leary is one of Europe's most controversial CEOs. He's the man behind Ryanair, one of the world's most profitable airlines. He's the one who thought if you want a drink on your flight, then you should pay for it. And he's now thinking about making you pay for going to the toilet. Michael O'Leary is our captive interviewee on the London Eye, talking to Francine Lacroix about his latest business ideas and more. Again, criticism just doesn't bother you. But we get no criticism, Francine. We're loved. I keep going back. We're beloved. We're the most beloved airline in Europe. We have millions of passengers <laughs> fighting with each other to try to get on board our on-time flights. Like, where do you read this? Because if you speak to anyone in the street, there's a love-hate relationship. But as long as they fly with us, frankly, I don't care whether they love us or hate us. We just want your bum on our seat. You've 